What is going on guys? I am Lazybolt and welcome to today's video guys. One of the biggest questions that I've gotten as far in the comment section is laser. How do I unlock this secret ability? I have absolutely nowhere to unlock it. I've done every challenge. I've done completed the missions, done everything, but I cannot unlock it. I'm going to tell you guys how to unlock it. And I got to tell you this abilities for each individual character are one of the best ones to actually unlock. We're going to take a look at each of them for each individual character. But first, I want to show you guys how to unlock it and how powerful they are. So if your screen looks like this and you find this video helpful and informative, a like would be greatly appreciated. So for those of you who probably have this already, or for those of you who are still playing the game, I'm going to show you guys how to unlock this. So for each individual character, guys, you're going to see an icon that looks like this. For Barbara or Batgirl, it's going to look like this. For Nightwing, it's going to be the same logo, just in blue. For Red Hood, it's going to be the same logo, just in red. And for Robin, it's going to be the same logo, just that in green. What you're going to do is you're going to walk up to this particular uh, option, which these will be periodically be unlocking. So as you're playing the missions, as you're playing the story, these will be popping up not only within the Belfry, but they will also be popping up in the open world. So as you guys see right there, I went ahead and opened that one. Now, I have another one. So once you do the complete story with each individual character, each character will have the ability of locking these. I'll show you guys. We're going to run through each individual character so you guys can see exactly how easy these are. So as you see, I collected all the ones in the Belfry. But if I go right here, you're going to notice that I probably have some that I need to collect as well, which is right there that I haven't collected uh, in the open world. So we're gonna go to that one real quick. So I, I wanna show you guys exactly how you do it so you guys understand where it actually ends. So you can be like, okay, maybe I'm at that point where I don't need to unlock them anymore or I'm just missing one, right? So let's go ahead and collect this one. And basically what these are guys, uh, if you haven't seen them, they're cutscenes, which give you like kind of like a little reference point of exactly what's going on and a more in-depth idea of the story behind the character. So it's not so much like you have to, uh, if you haven't seen them and you haven't unlocked them, I would highly recommend you guys definitely, you know, click the, and watch the cutscene. I don't want to watch the cutscene with you guys because I don't want to spoil it for anyone. So it's pretty much cutscenes of the backstory of the person that you're playing as. So each character will have its own one. As you see right there, it says side quest activity completed. Barbara's story is completed. All right, so we go to the abilities tab. You're going to notice that now we have it unlocked. But just because we have it unlocked or activated doesn't mean that we're able to actually use this. Because in order for us to use this, this has a little lock and we have to complete a challenge. So for us to see the challenge, we're going to go ahead and click on this. And this is basically telling us to complete the drone expert challenge. Now, this is going to be for each individual character. I'm going to show you guys what the challenge is for each individual character. But I just wanted to show you guys how these are unlockable. Now, once you complete the challenge, this will unlock for you guys and you will be able to use it freely. All right. So for Robin, you're going to be triggering a holographic wraith, automatically making nearby enemies afraid and spreading fear throughout the duration. While rate this active critical chance and critical damage is increased by 15%. This lasts a total of 15 seconds. So this is a very good skill, especially paired with the correct elemental damage. And the animation that he actually goes through when he actually pulls this off is pretty, pretty stunning. Now the challenge for Robin to actually unlock this ability is he has to kill 10 people with the nanobots. So you're going to have to do that uh, as part of the challenge. All right. So for Red Hood, guys, we have the ability that is called Mega Tackle. What this is going to do is going to allow Red Hood to dash forward and knock down all the enemies that are located in his path. He actually does a lot of really good stuff because he's able to guard break with this. He's able to have piercing and partial area of effect. So he's able to do area of effect damage with this ability. In addition to that, of course, fear induction is really important in this game, and he's able to do that as well. Now, in order for you guys to unlock that ability, you're going to need to do Mystical Bullet Expert, and you're going to have to defeat a total of 15 enemies with that particular ability. All right, so for Nightwing, you're going to be unlocking the Bright Knight, and this is going to allow you to do the falling. It's going to allow you to cast a Nightwing symbol that was going to glow and stun nearby enemies, and it's going to grant allies a one momentum segment. There's this area of effect, piercing, and induces fear as well. Now, this ability, guys, in order for you guys to unlock this, the challenge is that you have to go ahead and activate your dome, your nest dome, and kill people with the nest dome. What I would recommend if you guys are doing this one, make sure you upgrade your nest dome to do a little bit more damage so you can get this done a lot quicker. Now it's time to rate these abilities and let you guys know which one's the best, which one's okay, and which one you could probably hold on to to do a little bit later if it's not your main character. And then I'm going to tell you guys a nice little secret that you probably missed out on, but you probably want to pick up. Let me know how many of you guys actually missed out on it. So for number one, guys, the best ability that I think currently right now is available as far as that particular skill for, that secret momentum ability, is the Batstorm. The Batstorm is amazing.
amazing because not only do the bats dish out damage to the nearby enemies, but they also protect you as well. And the duration on this is 15 seconds and you're able to move around the map a lot. And if you have a bunch of momentum meters, these are gonna you could do this like expand this like four times, which is really good. It does damage over time, which is awesome. And the fear indicating, especially with her, is really really good. So definitely, but bat sword to me is the number one priority. If you're playing as Batgirl, you're definitely gonna love this ability. All right, so for number two on the list, guys, I want to include Robin's. The reason why Robin is a little bit better than the other ones, I'm gonna talk about that why in just a little bit. But basically, what this is gonna do is you're gonna produce the holographic wraith, and this is gonna make your nearby enemies have that fear thing. But the advantage you get here is that crit chance and crit damage increase by 50 percent it's going to help you quite a lot especially if you're running the proper build with robin you're going to be able to crit a lot and that's going to help you defeat enemies really fast in a very good sequence and you could actually do this four times without you losing any stuff and getting your momentum back as soon as you're done using it so really effective one here for robin and number three guys we're going to be including red hood's ability which is going to be the mega tackle ability this is a really good ability it's just that it feels like it's lacking a little bit more area of effect i would definitely would like to see a little bit more area of effect but it's really op the only problem is that it doesn't get a lot of enemies within the area sometimes it's a hit and miss so that's the reason why it's number three and last but not least guys we gotta include my boy nightwing for here this one's not that good for solo play but i feel like this is gonna be very good when you play as a team especially when that new dlc mode that comes out i think this is gonna be very good but as of right now this is definitely low tier for me i would probably skip trying to get this even even though it's not a difficult thing to get it's something it gives you something less to do and i would probably just wait for it later down the path but it's good but it is not great all right so now you guys know how to get the secret ability in gotham knights but but now what you really want to know is how to get legendary gear and how to farm materials i have videos on that so you're definitely going to want to check out that video that's popping up right now on the screen so you guys won't miss those strats on how to get the amazing loot fast and easy i hope you guys are enjoying our content here on the channel we are doing the heat figure guys drop a comment drop a like but most importantly subscribe to the channel turn on all your notifications if you want to show a little bit more love and support do consider becoming part of the bold nation by hitting the join button down below we really appreciate it and that would help us quite a lot thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you guys on the next video